This is never gonna stop being the weirdest thing in the world to me. Sitting in a pool, completely calm, and boom, wave coming out of a wall. That's actually a real wave. Many awesome things have been made by man over time. This is one of them. This is a place where perfect waves come out of a wall. You can actually go there on an iPad and make waves, in a lot of ways, however you want to. So we visited this place. If you haven't seen part one, check it out. The link's in the description. Today we're continuing the barrel competition, starting with Paul, whom I pranked the shit out of while making the world's biggest skimboard. He's never gotten a proper full barrel. We're also joined by another legend in the crew, who was the first girl to land a backflip on a resi ramp on a tricycle at Woodward. They are in the pursuit of the barrel. It's the ultimate dream, and honestly, one of the coolest places I've ever been is in the barrel. I think everyone needs to experience what it's like. And this place, in my opinion, is the easiest place to get barreled. You have the setting where it just barrels perfectly every time, over and over again. That wave will be our main focus today. Then we'll get into all the other fun stuff. But first, I'm gonna need you to break the algorithm and like this video, comment, and pretty much click as many of the buttons down there as you can. Like, share. Do it! Yes, you can! Think about the children. Paul felt like he needed redemption. He's been dying for me to make this video. He asked me nearly every single day when I'm gonna release it. So we're gonna kick this video off with Paul's progression as an aspiring barrel riding hung legend. Yeah, give it like two extra paddles. I mean, once you start gaining, then you know, once you, you obviously can surf, so once you start flying down, you know, get up and yeah. angle it, but make sure that you're gaining a bunch of speed before you stand up. Paul is determined. Comment down below whether you think the full barrel dream will be acquired. Then we're going to check in on some of Trin's progress to see how far she's gotten. He's like, who wants to go first on the left? Paul just paddles out. <laughs> paddles straight out there. Four and five again. You're at six. Oh, it's the right again. What? Oh, Jeff, he got it. <laughs> what happened? I would have been in that. <laughs>
the ultimate question. Who got more shack? Well, the second I got out of the water to get a drink, Paul caught this wave. This is easily the best wave of Paul's life. One of the hardest things to do in surfing is to completely disappear. Whether it was for one or two frames, Paul completely disappeared, board and all. That is not an easy thing to do, especially when you're riding the most generic brand of soft top surfboards ever created, called the Soft Surfboard. Paul and Paul both got coverage, but this was, I think, I think this was the wave. If I'm not mistaken, this was the wave. Oh my God, Paul! Oh my God, Paul! Bro, why that bullshit, dude? Oh. Yeah, for sure. Did you come out like this, bro? Like, yeah. Trin got really close too, but there's still a little bit of work to be done. We will be back. She will get barreled. I have confidence in her. kind of I don't think anyone here besides Zeke has ridden this wave yet it's the double barrel huh I've been in like two years, so I have no idea what to great sounds good put me in coach is it the first wave This whole new technology is actually pretty exciting. We've been traveling to Texas to catch waves, but rumor has it there's going to be two wave pools coming to Florida very soon, so we won't even have to go anywhere. This is also exciting because I feel as though once there's more wave pools, the prices will go down. Waco charges around $15,000 for half a day and $25,000 for the whole day. Seems a little steep, but I understand that making barrels probably isn't cheap. So that being said, we'll probably be back.
that just about wraps up this episode of our adventures in Waco, Texas. I do still have a ton more footage, so I will be throwing it in one of our next vlogs if you guys want to check that out. We hit a 5 a.m. morning session, ride the slide, hit some skate ramps, jump on some trampolines. The best is always yet to come. We're still working on one of the most elaborate pranks that we've ever filmed in our entire lives, but as you guys know, these things take time. Like, subscribe, squad.com for some merch, and I love you guys. See you guys soon for a new video. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Nuclear mental, bro. Nuclear, Nuclear session, boys. Dude, Paul's wave was mental. Oh my god, we just watched the clip. So, when's the next session, guys? Eight. Eight. We got four hours. Four hours. Yeah. All right.